So hi, my name's Kevin Modis. I'm with the uh, California Brain Tumor Association doing outreach. Um, I want to thank everyone for their comments today, their, their heartfelt sharing, and their wisdom that's been shared. So critically important that we get the word out and we wake people up really before it's too late. And I don't think that's an exaggeration. With the rollout of 5G and the high intensities, the ultra high intensities, that it'll be using and the fact that they're going to be putting transmitters every two to ten homes. Um, we really have a critical situation here. We have the ideal situation for disease progression. We have transmitters close to people, we have continuous exposure, and we have exposure to intense wireless radiation. We already know that wireless radiation can cause cancer, neurological problems, reproductive harm, and immune system problems. People are already sick. People are already sick right here. Young people, older people, mothers, fathers, working people being disabled and unable to work, people being driven out of their home. We are here at the Supreme Court because this is an absolute and major injustice that's happening right under our noses, literally, when you talk about cell phones and people have no idea. And with the, it, with the rollout of 5G, we no longer can afford to be quiet. We can no longer afford to be still and not take action. What I ask every person here and every person watching this video is that you wake up and you wake up others. That you take action and you reach out and do what I'm doing. I'm talking to representatives in the House. I'm talking to representatives in the Senate. I'm reaching out for a meeting with the President. If you can get me a meeting with the President, I want you to contact me. Keephealthyfamilies at gmail.com. Keephealthyfamilies at gmail.com. I bet you the wireless industry doesn't have to do that to get a meeting with the President. We already know that the wireless industry has met with the president and gotten his commitment to facilitate the rollout of 5G small cell tout transmitters near people's homes. And the lies of the industry are magnificent. First of all, they're not small cells. They can be up to the size of a refrigerator. Second of all, if you, don't ha if you have all your utilities underground, they can go on a pole right in front of your house. Third of all, it is absolutely harmful. Our safety standards, which aren't standards, they're guidelines, suggestions, that only protect against heating are absolutely absurd. And from talking to the scientists, and I've talked to more than 200 scientists from 39 countries, they say, absolutely, this is common sense. Before a cell heats or burns, things happen to that cell. The cell functioning is impaired. Uh, the, the cell's repair, ability to repair is impaired. We have a significant problem. It's common sense. We are electromagnetic beings. We conduct. Our cells operate electromagnetically. They repair electromagnetically. They communicate electromagnetically. And we are messing with the basic functioning of our cells. We are microwaving our population. We are microwave poisoning our population, and we're also wondering why everyone's getting cancer, it seems like. Why are these young girls getting strange immune system disorders? Why are these young guys reporting neurological effects, and they can't work or function? Why is it that fertility is so far down in industrialized countries? We are microwaving our reproductive organs, and wondering why we're having these problems. As Daphna Takover says, we have a failure of common sense. We need to bring back the common sense, and the industry's done a brilliant job. They have, they have separated the obvious benefits of wireless in terms of convenience from how wireless operates. It operates through microwave radiation. And the same people who won't stand near their microwave oven will hold a cell phone to their head three to six hours a day. 
how they've separated how this technology works from what it does has been absolutely masterful. How they've lied to Congress and done it successfully has been absolutely brilliant. But acknowledging that isn't enough. We must counter that. We must counter it ourselves. No one is going to do anything about this. We are going to do something about it. You are going to do something about it. You are going to do what I did. Come to Washington. Stay in Washington. Talk to the representatives that are completely ignorant and are voting for these bills that are taking away and stripping away your rights and exposing you to this harmful microwave radiation. Talk to the senators and educate them. Demand a meeting with the president. It's time that we exercise our right as Americans. This is a democratic system, a participative system. It works for those who participate. The wireless industry is participating with their visits, their talking, and with their money. And you know what? Congress represents their interests. It's time that we exercise our ability to participate and demand they represent our interests and our rights. It's not enough to email people who already understand this issue. It's not enough to put up a website with information up there. We have enough of those. It's not enough to educate our own. We must reach out to the decision makers who are making the decisions to expose us to this harmful radiation and putting millions and billions of dollars behind it. It's time we take back Congress. It's time we take back the presidency. It's time we take back our rights and make this system work. Because it can work, but we must work it. It's no longer okay to say someone else is going to do it. And I got to tell you, these guys are busy. There's 535 guys across the street from here that are making the decisions to terrorize this country and microwave us to a point of being harmed. Those 500 people are the most important community we need to educate. They don't understand this issue. They haven't seen the people who are being harmed. And at this point, they don't give a crap. It's time we demand they give a crap. No one else is going to do it. You're going to do it. And with your example, others will do it. It's time we spread the word. It's time we wake up our people, our regular citizens who have never done anything politically before in their life, and get them acting and moving. Because the plan for 5G is this will be rolled out in the next year. And you will have a wireless transmitter in front of your house or pretty darn close to the front of your house in the next year. And if you didn't get sick from the low frequency stuff, you may get sick from the high frequency stuff or the combination. We don't know if you're going to get sick. They're experimenting with your life. I don't know about you, but I don't want those 535 men across the street making decisions about my personal health. What we do know is people are being harmed now. What we do know is that wireless radiation is clearly harmful, carcinogenic, neurotoxic, and genotoxic. And it's time those congressmen across the way and the president in the Oval Office act to protect us and acknowledge the fact, which, wire, which is wireless radiation is truly harmful. This needs to be our clear message and nothing else, because what we need is nothing else but protection. It's time. It's overdue. Enough people have been harmed. It must stop, and it must stop now. Thank you.